I have been fascinated by the question of whether there is intelligent alien life, not just for the obvious reason like we see in movies and science fiction, but because of what that may or may not say about the nature of the universe. Well, um, I do think that the, there have been intelligent life on the planet in which we live, um, is in any way an accident. If we, I look at it as an evolutionist, it is an accident because there have been through time, through the uh, billions, three billions or more of life uh, in, on Earth, there have been at every step and in every lineage multiple events that it, any one of them would have gone in a slightly different way, we would not be here. And we are talking about billions of events multiplying probabilities or improbabilities. So therefore, I believe that there is no intelligent life in the universe. Um, does not say much by itself about the nature of the universe, only that's the affirmation that is such, such an improbable event that is not likely to have happened anywhere else. Francisco, this means that you are saying something very different actually contradicting a large percentage of the scientific community, particularly physical scientists, who believe strongly that there are innumerable planets, millions and, and maybe billions, that have intelligent life. Well, I believe there are billions of planets uh, that are likely to have life, but I don't think they have intelligent life. And the reason why so many physicists believe in that is because they don't understand evolution. One who understands evolution realizes that no matter how many billions and trillions and trillions of trillions of planets, the probability that human life, intelligent life would have come about is so insignificant that it could never come ag about again. Well, some of them would say, you have a uh, parochial definition of intelligence. It's based on carbon, it's based on DNA, it's based on human characteristics, and, and maybe intelligence can, uh, can evolve on silicon, who knows what. There could be another form of intelligence uh, that, that we can't even conceive of. So, so we have a, a kind of a, an anthropocentric uh, 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 impression of intelligence. And that's fair up to a point. I mean by intelligent life, a form of life with which we could communicate, we could exchange uh, thoughts. And that requires certain structures and something like what we call the mind. Mm. Um, think about the following. There are at least 10 million species living now in the world. They represent less than 1% of all the species that ever existed on Earth. So there have been more than 1 billion species. We are only one out of that billion and um, also one that came in the last few minutes of the history of the Earth up to the present, if you consider the calendar year representing the, the, the time elapsed since the origin of life. So we are in December 31st, near midnight. We came about as one of one billion species that have existed. Um, none of the other species has anything approaching what we call intelligence. So we cannot communicate with them in any sensible way. We can send signals to, to birds and to dolphins and other things and, and train dogs, but that's not what we are talking about. So intelligence can require certain very distinctive features mm. that may be different from ours, maybe based on silicon, but after all, the table of elements does not have all, so many elements, and not so many of them can give rise to complex molecules. So, yes, it could be based on something a different chemistry, but still we need to have something comparable to a brain, some way of thinking and communicating. 